Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I, I gotta talk about this. I was supposed to go live yesterday, but I wasn't feeling too well. So I'm gonna go live today. Because today I got time, cuz, okay? So. Something about this story is very interesting to me. And another thing that's very interesting is I see a lot of black women with their capes. Oh, y'all love anytime there's a chance to go at Danny Lay, y'all love it. Y'all throw on y'all's capes and y'all run to go and attack her on behalf of, you know, whoever's attacking her. And, you know, Danny Lay has had her, her definitely her share of controversy. And y'all and I have caught her out. I held her accountable for the yellow bone situation. Um, she's definitely been drugged. But I just don't understand, like, y'all make heroes out of people. Y'all y'all forget a lot of shit. I didn't understand how everybody was siding against Danny Lay for B. Simone. I'm like, am I in the Twilight Zone? This is the same woman who basically, in so many words, said that women like Danny Lay, you know, the, the Spanish, the, the spicy, muy clientes, okay? Shout out to my Latin sisters. She basically said that Dominican women, Puerto Rican women were way sexier and way better than black women. Remember when she was dick riding Danny Lay? Remember, I did a whole video on this in 2020. So y'all got a short attention span, but I don't. I don't forget shit. Okay. So for me, I, I can't I can't take B. Simone seriously. Let me go ahead and play y'all a flashback of a video I did calling out B. Simone, where I basically said that Danny Lay lives in B. Simone's head rent free. Okay, so let me share my screen. We're going to get started with this video. Shout out to everybody in here. If you're here, come on in. Hit the like button, please. So let's listen to what Danny, uh, what B. Simone had to say about Danny Lay, who was living in her head rent-free two years ago. Okay, here's the thing. Dominican bitches, they already have the upper hand. <laughs> because it's something in their blood that ma genetically makes them sexy. That's the problem. I'm gonna start telling people I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> I see it. You can see I don't do Puerto Rican. Just a little bit. A little bit. Like, bitch, she from DR, I'm from PR. <laughs> okay? Daddy's from DR, I'm from PR. Like, wait, Puerto Rican. So you really trying to uh, go another round? You might uh, stay in the fight. Should I keep fighting keep for fighting. him? You gotta keep fighting. You gotta keep going. I'll well, tell you one thing, though. I ain't disrespecting nobody's relationship. So now that they public, I'm going to leave them alone. All right, let me come back on this screen here. So y'all heard what she said. It was a very cringy video where she said, you know, Dominicans and Puerto Ricans are just naturally sexy. They have an upper hand on black women. See, that that's it's that bullshit. You know, and that's what causes a divide with women and, and different things like that. Now, any Latinos hang around me and you think you got the upper hand, you're going to have another thing coming, Okay. I feel like all women, as long as you carry yourself well, you dress well, you look good, should nobody have the upper hand over you, okay? So anyhow, that is what she was saying about Danny Lay. So then out the blue, Hollywood Unlocked came out and said that, oh, Danny Lay told the producers of Wildin' Out that she didn't want to be on the same sh on, on the show if B. Simone was going to be there. So initially it was a rumor, um, and I think Danny Lay had liked it the post or something like that. And then what I found very interesting is that the very next day, now I don't know what all B. Simone got going on. I don't follow her. I don't pay her no mind. But the very next day, she was on the Tamron Hall show. I said, well, this is interesting. She's doing talk show runs now? Okay. So she was on the Tamron Hall show, and basically she confirmed that um, Danny Lay had her removed, you know, didn't want to be on the show with her. So let's go ahead and listen to what she told Tamron Hall. Let me go ahead and pull this up here. Yeah, she she says she's giving Danny Lay grace. It's funny I keep hearing everybody use the word grace now all of a sudden. But anyways, let's go ahead and play the uh the video. Hold on, wrong one. Let me tell my desktop. Give me two seconds here. All right, this is her on the Tamron Hall show talking about the situation. 
She's been trending all night long. Um, there's a report that you were supposed to appear on an episode of Wild and Out, this hit MTV show, Nick Cannon show, and that another female guest persuaded producers to take you off the show. Mm -hmm. That you've done nothing wrong mm -hmm. and you were taken off. And your fans are concerned. Yeah. Um, is it true they took you off the show? You know what? I'm going to answer that very simply. It is true, but we're going to have grace for that situation. Um, I don't agree with it, but I understand it, especially, you know, she's not that mature. So we're just going to have grace for her and move forward. And, and I, I know that sounds like, I don't even have a publicist. That sounds like the publicist answer, but I've had time to think about it and not react emotionally. And that's genuinely how I feel. And, and so the, the show, we've not been able to verify if they, uh, if that is why they. All right. So y'all just saw that. Let me come back on the screen. So, you know, she says that she's being mature about this situation. She's giving Danny grace, but they're the ones who put the story out there. Her and Hollywood Unlocked. They put the story out there. Nobody would have knew about this story or gave two shits about this story had they not put it out there. So, of course, once that went viral, I noticed a lot of black women grabbed their capes and they were caping for B. Simone and attacking Danny and saying, oh, you just are trying to bring a black woman down. You don't want a black woman on Wallin now. You be hating on the black woman. And I'm like, really? This is the same black woman that says she wants to claim being Latina. Not even two years ago. And y'all can say T was a joke. You be taking stuff too personally. But like I always tell y'all, there's always a little bit of truth in every joke. And I don't like self-deprecating humor when it comes to black women. Because she was speaking for black women as a whole when saying that another race of women were better than black women. Because again, you'll never see another race of women uh, downing their own and uplifting another race. You're not going to see Asian women on Instagram talking about, oh my God, you know, uh, white women are so much better than me. Um, I'm going to start claiming to be white. They're not going to do that. So I, I, I wasn't feeling that at all. And I, I just found it very funny that black women were caping for her and trying to attack Danny. I feel like both of them be clowning. Like, I, I would not care for either one of these women. They can fight their own fight. They can hold their own damn titties, okay? Um, now what was so funny is that Danny came out and she spoke out about the situation because, again, she was getting attacked relentlessly. So she finally came out with her side. So we're going to watch what Danny had to say, and then I'm, I'm going to speak on it even more in depth. Give me, Oh, no, 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 but hold on. Wait, before that, before Danny came out with her side, this is another thing. This is another thing I had I had to I had to bring up. Before Danny Lay even came out with her side, B. Simone was going around liking the baby's new song. This is a song where he's disrespecting another black woman, Meg the Stallion, where he's telling the world that he smashed her the night before the whole thing went down with Tori. So you're 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 liking his poll. She made a post on her Instagram stories and caught the baby, aka the felon who should be in fucking jail. Um, the goat. She caught the felon, the goat. Okay. So it's so funny that she's still like jockeying this guy who who has paid her no mind for the most part. She's still jockeying him publicly. It, it just it looks it looks sad at this point. So let me show y'all these posts. They have posted it on uh Hollywood Unlock. Give me just a second here. Let me share my screen. Okay. So here goes one of the posts here. This, I can't play the music video, it's muted. But this is the video where he has somebody playing Meg the Stallion. He's acting like he's smashing Meg. You know, uh, y'all want to scream protect black women, but only protect, you know, who y'all want to protect for that day. So he can disrespect another black woman, put her business out there, and she calls him the GOAT. On this post, uh, she was seen, oh, the same one, calling him the GOAT. So all the, all the people were like reporting on it. And she was also liking stuff. Um, and there's also now, because this song is not doing well, because all the other black women who have common sense are like, we're not supporting this song. The song is trash. And y'all know, I'm not no big Meg Thee Stallion fan. Y'all know that. But at the end of the day, who gives a shit if you slept with her? If she's a whore because she slept with you and Tori, what does that make you? You're out here making baby after baby after baby with any woman who will open her legs. So why is she a whore? Last time I checked, Meg ain't got no kids out here. She might be fucking everything that moves, but she ain't procreating and having 10 kids by 10 different people. So, again, 
I just find that very funny that, you know, she can be slut shamed all over Twitter and this girl is calling him the goat. But then in the same breath, y'all sit here and cry and say, protect black women. Okay. So after she was seen, you know, liking his post and shouting him out and, you know, making sure, you know, hey, pick me. I'm still here, the baby, a.k.a. the felon. Um, Danny finally decided to speak out. Okay. So this is what Danny had to say about the situation, Jal. Give me just a second. It was cool. It was, it was no problems on set. It was problems now, but it's all good. Like I'm not even tripping. Nobody's in my nobody's in my position. I had a kid with John. Like this ain't no little. It's a real like it was a set in this situation. So I'm sure a lot of people in real life would probably do the same thing. If they knew the truth, you was openly supporting me and him all the time and then started doing you and being weird. So it's so good, bro. Why do the show? I should have declined. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Bye. So the situation, I just feel like, okay, from the jump, it was never a demand. I don't know why the blogs are seeding it out to put it out that I demanded be Simone not to be on Wild and Out. Wasn't the case. Wild and Out asked me. I love Wild and Out shows. I always supported Nick. I've always supported the comedians um, on the show. So, you know, me and B Simone are not cool. So. I just, my team asked if it's cool if she doesn't do the episode that I do, respectfully. It was never anything to be like, I'm a diva, I don't want. I thought it'd be more mature to have us not sitting next to each other on a show, making it mad, awkward, and uncomfortable. You know, like, I, that's, I'm protecting my peace, I'm protecting my heart on the situation. It wasn't petty. She was actually there, so I'm sure she got paid. It wasn't to take away money from nobody's pocket. It was just, why... Why would we say, I didn't know you wanted, like, I didn't know, I don't know. So, yeah. Recently, she just did a whole diss song about me. I didn't say nothing about it. I seen text messages between him and her. I didn't say nothing about it. And that's what it was. That's it. I'm handling the, the situation maturely because I feel like I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just doing me. And... She on a TV interview talking about trying to make this a whole whatever. And it just is what it is. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. I feel like I'm working really, really hard right now. I'm on tour. I'm fucking tired. I'm taking time away from my baby to, like, just kind of, like, just work. And just do what I got to do. And it's just, like, I feel like the devil just wants to follow me and just... If it's, it's real life, guys, like... I know there's a lot of internet stuff, but you guys don't know it's real life. Real life stuff has happened. You guys don't know details. If I don't want to be around somebody, it ain't no diva thing. It's just, hey, is it cool? She's not on this episode. I don't think it was that deep. I'm sorry. Like, for real, I really wouldn't have did the episode if I would have known all of this would have came out of it. I'd rather have not done it. I just thought respectfully I would ask and see if that was cool. Bam. It's done. I'm not... I'm never fighting over no community dick. I'm never fighting over nothing. Like, I'm past that. I'm over it. I understand. I'm not insecure. I'm not scared. I'm just not going to be around somebody that me and you don't clearly mess with each other. So, I don't know. That's just, it ain't missing out on no money. She was there. I'm sure she got paid. If she didn't get paid, well, then I should pay her for that day for her being there and her time. I don't got no more problems. I don't want to speak on the situation at all. I'm on tour. I'm working. I'm working on new music. I just want to, like, focus on that. And who knows if this will get backlash because it is what it is with me. I know everybody likes to come for me. It's all good. Like, But I'm really just focusing on myself right now. I'm on tour. And that's it. It ain't no demand. It ain't no nothing. I didn't. It's just protecting my peace, protecting my energy. That's it. That's all I got to say. So, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I would like to say, but yeah. <sighs>
now let's see what part the blogs pick up from this live and okay all right that's enough <laughs> All right, so y'all just heard what she had to say. So really quick, like I told you guys, um, we have our official first sponsor for my live stream. So today's show sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a mental health platform that provides online mental health and therapy sessions for people. If you're going through it mentally, emotionally, or just need to speak to somebody, um, you guys can talk to a therapist from the safety of your own home. All you have to do is go to betterhelp.com forward slash use my code sip slow okay so make sure you guys go to betterhelp.com forward slash sip slow to save 10 percent off now i you know honestly to be honest here both these ladies need to hit up better help they both need some damn counseling and some damn therapy so hopefully they use my code and call and talk to a therapist okay so this is my thing with the whole situation let me be very very honest because like i said i have no real dog in this fight um if B. Simone is upset, B. Simone needs to talk to the producers, okay? Um, Danny Lay has the right to ask to not be on the stage with somebody who she does not get along with. Let, I mean, let's keep that real. I don't understand, like, why this is so shocking. Half of y'all won't sit next to a bitch at work that you don't like. If I don't fool with the damn, you know what I'm saying, with this customer service rep, because she always got an attitude, she's always looking you up and down, I'm not about to sit next to her at lunch. I don't want her damn energy around me. So why is that so strange for her to be like, well, hey, I do want to come on the show, but I don't want to be on stage with her. You know, there's some behind the scenes drama and I just, and, and think about it too. She doesn't want to get clowned on national television. You know how much ammo B. Simone would have for her, especially being that B. Simone is still jockeying the diaper. I mean, the baby, you know what I'm saying? So... I, I feel her for asking. All she did was ask. She didn't come in there with a diva demand. She said, I would like to not be on stage with her. So at that point, there was one of two things that could happen. B. Simone, the, the production company is beholden to B. Simone, not Danny Lay. Danny Lay doesn't work there. She's a walk-on. You're about to come on stage. You'll be here for a few hours. That's it. That's all. B. Simone, that is her job. So the production company, you know, the whoever runs while and out, I'm assuming Nick is still running it. We know he can't stop, you know, having kids. So his mind is elsewhere. But shouldn't her anger be directed at the production company and Nick Cannon and the while and out executives? Your loyalty and their loyalty is to you. So if they removed you from the show to make Danny Lay more comfortable, then you need to talk it up with your boss. Because their loyalty should have been to you. They should have told Danny Lay, no, we'll pass. We'll have somebody else come in your place. But obviously, they don't care. You're irreplaceable. You're, you're replaceable, excuse me. You're obviously replaceable to them, especially for that episode, because they told you to sit this one out because we choose her over you. So instead of going on Tamron Hall and, and getting upset and making this big old social media thing, she should have took it up with Nick Cannon and the Wild and Out people because that is who owed her loyalty and respect. Danny Lay don't owe her shit. Just like she really don't owe Danny Lay anything. You know what I'm saying? But Danny had every right to ask. I ask all the time when I'm going to certain events if certain people are going to be there. And if they're going to be there, I never say, well, it's either me or them. I just, oh, I'm not going to be there. I'm cool. Well, why aren't you going to come? Because I don't like that person. And I'm not going to put myself in this situation. So, uh, you know, hit me up when you got something going on where that person is not going to be involved. It's that simple. I'm never going to stop somebody else's bag and say, it's either me or them. Because there's a lot of bitches who do that shit. Don't get it twisted. A lot of just real, real weird bitches who do that. But they'll make it a, it's either them or me situation. No, I just want to know who's on the list. Okay, well, I won't be there. But y'all have fun. Be blessed. Have a good night. I'm going to find me something else to do. Okay. So all she did was ask. So if they would have told her, hey, no, we're not going to remove B. Simone. Either you deal with B. Simone being on stage or you don't. Then at that point, Danny could have chose, okay, fine, I'm going to suck it up and just do it. Or else she could have just, you know, said, well, nope, I passed. I'm not going to do it if B. Simone is going to be there. But those are the options that the production companies should have gave Danny. That either B. was going to be there and we're standing by B. And either you can come or you can't come. But being that they took B. Simone off, that is on Wildin' Out. I don't see why everybody's attacking Danny after this 
or going saying that she stopped somebody's bag, but y'all don't have the same energy for Nick Cannon. Y'all don't have the same energy for MTV. Y'all don't have the same energy for the people who actually pull strings at the network. But y'all are attacking this girl behind some shit that y'all y'all would do. Imagine if there was some type of banquet at your job and there's a, there's women that you don't like or a female that you don't like or a guy that you don't like at your job. And they're telling you, you have to be there. You have to sit next to that person. You'd be asking your boss, hey, can you move me somewhere else? Can I sit you know, over there? I don't want to be right next to that person. We don't get along. People make adjustments and ask for adjustments all the time. Yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Wolf Kiria. It's fake outrage. And I think the whole thing was a setup. Because again, nobody even knew about this situation until B. Simone and them started posting about it. Then the very next day, while it's on the blogs and it's hot, she goes on the Tamron Hall show and this is the topic. Who cares? Okay, so but so you're mad at this girl and you're giving this girl grace, but you're not mad at your employer? That's who you really should be mad at. That's who cuts your check. You know what I'm saying? So if they didn't allow you to get on stage to clown her and, and tell your jokes, that is on your employer. I don't think Danny did anything wrong in this situation, honestly, because this is something that a lot of people do, including myself. I always ask who's going to be there. And if it's some people I don't rock with, I'm not going. It's that simple. Now, if they say, well, you know, we'd rather have you there than that person. So let us make some phone calls. Then that's on, the, that's on them. If they're going to pick me over that person. But I don't think it should ever be a situation. Like, I don't understand how on the Internet people are just so confused and they don't understand what she did. This happens all the time. Even like, think about it when you're going out with some of your friends, right? Let's say like one of your cousins invites you out, says, hey, we're all going to go to the club this weekend. What's the first thing everybody says? Who's all coming? Come on now, it ain't just me. I want to know who's all coming. Is everybody going to be cool? Is it going to be one bad energy vampire draining bitch? Because if she's going to be there, I don't want to sit next to her. Keep her weird ass in the back seat away from me. That's the first thing you ask as human being. Who's all going to be there? Who's all coming? Because I need to know. Are these friends? Is there an op in the mix? You got to know. So I don't think she asks anything. Like, I, I don't understand that everybody's all confused. And, oh, how dare she ask? How dare she request? Y'all would do the same thing. Imagine somebody for the past two years since 2020 has had your name in their mouth, living in their head rent free. I would think the girl was a stalker at this point. I'm keeping it real. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my God, she has good hair. Go back and watch that video that I have on my channel. I played a snippet of it called Danny Lay Liz Rent Free and B. Simone's Head. Watch that full video of her talking. It, the way she's lusting after this girl and her features is weird. She's lucky that that's all she asked for. Me personally, I would have asked for a restraining order. You're a weird ass bitch. You're talking about my hair texture, my complexion, saying Dominican babies are sexy in diapers. You're a weirdo. Straight up. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's weirdo shit. So she's lucky that's the only thing she asked. Like I said, I would have asked for a restraining order because she was giving me, I'm about to skin her and wear her type vibes. Like, let me, you know what I'm saying? What was, I forgot what, what, damn it, all these damn serial killers, I'm getting them all mixed up. Was that Edward Gein, Ed Gein in Wisconsin? That was peeling people's skin off and making outfits and shit. <laughs> it ain't funny, but that's the damn vibe I was getting. Like, she wanted to wear Danny Lay and then creep into the bedroom with the baby laying on the bed and she's in Danny Lay's skin or some shit. Ew! <laughs> Because that was just too much. It was too much dick riding of Danny Lay. And she's so skinny and her stomach is so flat. And, oh, and I go to the gym and I never look like that. It's a very strange video. Y'all can say, well, she was just joking. Shit. Okay. Watch that video with, with, with your third eye. Nah, them was all truce. You know what I'm saying? Designed to be jokes. Nah, them was truce right there. So for me, yes, I have a good memory. I don't forget shit, child. Child Lucas. So for me, I feel like in this instance, I don't think Danny did anything wrong by requesting that because if she, all she can do is request it. And all while and out had to do is say, no, we stand by B. Simone. We want her on stage. If you don't feel comfortable, don't come. That's all that had to be done. So all this big song and dance and everybody getting up in arms and being so outraged as if, you know, she got B. Simone fired. Cause that's what I thought at first is that the girl got fired as angry as people were on Twitter. And then when I went and I looked into the store, I said, well, 
She wasn't fired and she was on the very next episode. What are y'all crying about? They don't even get along. They're not friends. This, this girl has been lusting after her baby's father for the past two, three years. Even like on one Wild and Out episode, she was all in the baby's face, wanting to marry him, all this weird stuff. I'm sure she's not comfortable being on the same stage would be Simone. I wouldn't be if I was Danny. Ah, uh, you damn right I would ask. Uh, is she gonna be there? Okay, well, we're gonna have to decide either me or her. Oh, okay, y'all choose me. Okay, great, I'll be there at 8 o'clock a.m. See y'all then. That's it, that's all. So like I said, y'all, y'all be having fake outrage because a lot of y'all won't even sit next to, you know, no, no co-worker that you don't like. I, I've had co-workers who I know for a fact do not wash their hands. I've told y'all this story before. You go, Patty. Never washed her hands when she went to the restroom. I would watch her and shit. Use the bathroom. I'm washing my hands at the sink. She'd walk right by. Okay? So whenever we did any potluck stuff, uh-uh. You're not, you're not touching anything before me. I'm first. Get my shit. And I don't eat anything that comes from her house. Well, let's say we order pizza or something. No, I'm first. You, and I'm not sitting next to her. Because she's dirty. She touches her phone. She's, you, she doesn't wash her hands. So I have a right to be protective of my energy and my health. Fuck that. Like, oh, you're so mean to pay because I'm the one that she tried. She thought she's about to beat me to the pizza. Uh-uh. No. Hell no. You better not touch that pizza. Not before me. Everybody's like, calm down. Now, fuck that. She don't wash her hands. <laughs> I went off. I was like, I used to be going off on this lady. And they'd be like, why don't you just wash your hands? She's like, well, I just don't like washing my hands. Right. And she was honest about it. She did not wash her hands when she got done using the restroom. So, no, I'm going to clown you and don't sit me next to her. I don't care. I don't have to. I don't have to share anything with her. No. So again, I'm gonna protect my space. So why can't she? I just be mad anytime they had some type of dinner or breakfast. Shit. I'm first. Grab my plate. Grab my fork. Grab what I need to do and get back to my desk. I would never eat hold a utensil or anything after that woman ever. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> So again, like I said, I have no real dog in that fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not caping for either one of these women because they both have done shitty shit. So I'm not caping for either one of them. But to me, B. Simone is not a victim in this. If she's upset, take it up with your boss, Nick Cannon. Okay? If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.